Welcome back to Camper Van Culture. Today, a bit of a tech session. Fitting an air dispatcher heater. Um, it's a, a Tronic D2 diesel model. You see these sell on eBay in the UK. They're usually out of a BT van, British Telecom, or utility services. They all had them fitted, so the, the chances are, if you buy one, that's what it's come out of. And there's quite a bit of wires with, with them. You don't need them, it's a bit confusing when you look at them, but there's only a couple of wires that you need. So I'm going to start stripping it down to what actually we need and uh, all the wires that we don't, we'll just disregard. Let me just give you a quick look at the van, because um, he's built this himself. It's quite, quite a nice little van really. Let's have a quick look. And of course, there's the docker. First of all, let's see what we've got here. We've got um, there's some ducting Tony's going to bring around later, but um, legs on the end. There's this timer. This is off uh, Ford Transit. Um, we'll use a little bit of this pipe. We don't need all of it. Uh, obviously, pump um, and what have you. So let's uh, let's get let's get sorting out all these wires because we don't need most of these. So these are from the Transit wiring loom. All we need is the red. Well, let me show you. Right, so that's all the sheathing off the wires. Um, we can see which parts we need. A good good way of finding out actually is you look at your timer. We need the yellow one is the trigger for the heater to come on and off. The grey and red stripey one, that's the temperature control. The red is a feed to the live feed to the control unit and the brown one is a neutral for that. So we need a live and a neutral to that. This plug here, we're going to take those off. The yellow wire needs to go to the yellow for the trigger and the stripey to the stripey for the temperature control there. And out of that big bundle, you need the thick red live feed to the heater control of the heater unit the brown one is the neutral and then also this this one here goes to your pump which is pretty obvious because you can see where it connects on um, yeah so all the other stuff all this lot and all the others on there you don't need they're for like I don't know transit stuff that's incorporated into the loom but it, that's not really of any interest to us Next is where we're going to fit the heater. It's going underneath the back seat. Uh, there's a flat panel underneath if you look very carefully. Um, it's where the Westphalia um, outlet for the big underslung ever sort of sits. Um, if you've already got a Westie, the holes will be pretty obvious where they're going to go, but this is was a caravel, so we're going to have to cut them out. I'll show you where it is. Under the seat and the flat panel is just under there. We have to cut some of this soundproofing out first. And there's the flat panel. There's a rubber gasket that comes with the Ebba that goes underneath there. I've taken that off. Just use that as a template just to draw around it to get your mark where it's going. And there's the mounting holes uh, drilled out. You can tell when you're setting out for this, uh, you can see where it's welded the floor pan to the cross member. You don't want to go any further towards the back of the van than we already have done, really. 
just to paint the bare metal so we don't get any rust come through on Tony's van, otherwise I will be in trouble. Uh, that's had a little bit to dry now, so I'm just going to go around with the wax oil, just give it a little blast, just to make sure before anything goes on there. The gasket from the um, transit for the Ebba, it's got this lump on, I'm guessing that's um, to, to sort of match the floor pan somehow, so what we're going to have to do is just trim that down. So it's the same all the way along. I'll use a grinder for that. And there we go, that's now chopped down so that'll seal flat properly. And with that now located, we just have to tighten up the nuts. We just have to then drill another hole next to the unit just for the wire for the pump to be located outside. That's Tony over there. He's having a bit of a nightmare with a supplier who does exchange prop shafts. He's not very happy though. Well, we're getting a little bit further on now. I've put a fuse this end because I'm going to have to run a new cable front to back because um, it's never had never had a power in the back. Tony's just turned up with a leisure battery and a, a Zig unit. Um, so the wires to the pump are underneath. Uh, which was the green and I think it's a red stripey one and then obviously the neutral to that. Um, that just leaves us with the control unit. So all the wires on the control unit from the wiring loom have now been extended. I've labelled them all because he wants them running up and the control panel going up there in the corner. So I've just um, extended this loom now. So yeah, we're getting there. Right, there we go, timer's in place, so the wires are run up though, from the unit. Um, got to tap into the fuel system now, so uh, we'll get on with that and um, hopefully be able to give it a bit of a test. Now to tap into the fuel supply, I'm going to use the uh, intake from the filter so we don't get any crap coming through from the tank. Um, on a Westie I'd use the, um, it, already, it would already be there from the old Ever on this lung but it isn't in this uh, this case so I'm going to take it from there and run a new um, fuel pipe to the pump and there we go we've got a T in now to the fuel line this pipe now will run down to the Ebba Ebba spatcher pump so there we go we've all the fuel systems in I've just temporarily connected up to the electrics uh, done it though program on and it's firing up a tree uh, for now. Uh, just left the pump hanging for a minute just to try it out. Uh, just a case of tidying everything up now and um, tying everything together. And there we go. All running sweet now. Exhaust fitted. Pump. And exhaust. Intake rather. Thanks again for tuning in to Campervan Culture.